Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Today I am reviewing the Assassin Predator Deluxe figure from NECA Toys. This figure is part of the Predator 2018 movie lineup from NECA and is exclusively available uh, at Walmart stores in February, March. It is not yet in stores from what I was told. So give it probably another week or two in February. He might be starting to come out then sometime in March. So after he's been in stores for a limited amount of time, he will become available everywhere else. So you will be able to get grab him at online retailers, uh, various other stores probably will carry him. And as far as the packaging goes, the packaging is phenomenal. He's holding the head there of his enemy, along with the spine that's still attached to the head. The artwork is just truly phenomenal on there. Uh, you see the uh, Assassin Predator text below that, along with, just remind you, this is for ages 17 and up, so this figure is not for kids, in case any parents were out there wondering. And the side of the packaging, very nicely done. And this side here is different, which you see the same artwork as the front. And of course, the back of the packaging gives you several action shots of the figure and as well as a description right there. It also specifies what's included and he includes a blade, a canyon, interchangeable head and hands. The Assassin Predator is packaged in a window box with an opening flap. There's a look at the inside of the flap. It's just another image of the figure. And you see the window there with the figure in a plastic tray along with all of his accessories. The Assassin Predator is in a plastic tray, which you see there. Interestingly enough, the tray doesn't stand up straight the way that most trays do. And that's because this figure stands at 11 inches tall and he's there's a little bit of weight to him so what i'm going to do is take him out of package and let's take a closer look here is your in-hand look at this new assassin predator figure from neca toys as i'm sure you're aware from the film the character is depicted larger than the standard predator he is a hybrid he is far more deadlier and that transitions very nicely into this figure he is a straight up repaint from the 2019 version and I'm going to uh, do a comparison. I have the uh, 2019 figure over here. So we're going to take a closer look at that. But as you can see, he has all that same great sculpting, attention to detail. Uh, the paint apps are a little bit different and I'm going to uh, compare those exactly uh, what the differences are there. But with this release, you see all that great attention to detail that you're used to from NECA Predator figures. I will say that getting him to stand is a little bit challenging as the top of his feet, they hold him up. It's not a full flat foot on the bottom there, but it's still a great figure. Just look at all that great attention to detail there. You see the gauntlets that I'll give you a closer look at. And of course that nicely done sculpted and textured hair. Here we have a closer look at one of his two head sculpts. It is the same one that's previously offered for the 2019 figure. This one is repainted, and as you can see, it's really nicely done, works well for him. And to swap out the heads, I would suggest using a blow dryer just to loosen up the joints. So there's a look at the side. And there's a look at the other side. And of course, let's take a look at the back here. So as I said, moving him is pretty hard to do as this figure is pretty top heavy. Once you touch him, he does tend to fall over a little bit. So just be wary of that. And there's a look at the back of the hair. Here is that comparison that I said I was going to show you guys earlier on in this video. 
As you can see, there's a lot of paint differences between the two Predator figures here. The one on the right is the 2019 version, the Armored Predator, while the one on the left, they're calling it the Unarmored version of this Predator figure. And both paint applications are done phenomenally well. You also see the different uh, attention to details on the paint applications throughout the body. It's uh, between the chest part here, the arms and the legs, these stripes, things like that. Various definitions, it's completely different. So they did a phenomenal job on this. You also see the difference in the forehead up here. You should be able, I'll give you a closer look in the video, but you see all the differences in the legs and everything around here. And let's turn these guys to the side. Hopefully they will stay balanced. And you also see the difference in the gauntlets on the side there. Uh, the armored version, the gauntlets are a bit more dirty compared to the new version on the left. And it's the same difference in deco between the two versions on the other gauntlet on the other side. And here's a comparison on the back of the figure. You see the stripes are completely different, similar but different. The skin tone is different. Uh, the Also, the shorts around the crotch area, that's also a slightly different brown. This one, the, the new one's a little darker. The, uh, the 2019 version is a little lighter. The hair, it's very similar with the exception of the beads. Beads are just a slightly different color and tone for the copper. Here's a closer look at the head sculpts. And as I said, there's difference in the forehead. That's a closer look there. The head sculpts are the same. They're just redecoed and they did a very nice job here. The gauntlets on the new version compared to the previous version are exactly the same and repainted as I mentioned before. And he also comes with the same interchangeable parts. So if you have the previously offered version, you would know that the gauntlet on this side here has two different interchangeable parts. And that is one of them right there. The other interchangeable part for this particular gauntlet here is this blaster that he comes with that he also came with in his previous release. So what you want to do is take off the part that you put on and put the blaster right in there. And the blaster is on two different hinge joints so you can adjust it to your liking for him to point up and shoot. And here's your closer look at this blaster. Once it's inside the gauntlet, it stays in there pretty well. And I'm just showing you guys this on different angles here. The gauntlet on the right is also the same as previously released. And it comes with this blade accessory, which you see right here, which attaches right through the groove right in here. So you just want to carefully slide that in. And there's your look there. And here's another look at the interchangeable blade and blaster that was also previously included with the other figure. I also went ahead and swapped out the head and hands, which you see there. They're also repainted from his previous release. Here is a closer look at the blade attachment. Once it's inside the gauntlet, it stays in fairly well, and it would take a little bit of effort to get it out so it won't fall out by itself, which is good. There's a look at the side, and let's bring them to the back here, giving you a look. And here's a closer look at his alternate head sculpt. It's with the open mouth. 
And just like the previous version, they did a phenomenal job on all that sculpted detail in there, which you see there. Turning it to the side, you see all that great, those paint apps as well. Here is a comparison with the 7-inch scale figure, which was offered in 2019 from NECA. The bigger, more ultimate uh, Assassin Predator uh, has all that same great attention to detail that we've seen throughout the Predator line. But again, this new release has more articulation. And since it's slightly bigger head, you probably get a little bit more uh, sculpted detail in areas such as inside of the mouth, stuff like that. Here's another comparison, giving you a good look at the two different sizes between these two figures. The Deluxe Predator is much bigger, which you see there. He's bulkier. And you see all that great attention to detail since he doesn't have any armor there. Here's a comparison of their back as well. Overall, the Assassin Predator is a phenomenally done figure. Fans will especially love the larger size of them. Uh, they did a phenomenal job on this release. I highly recommend it. Even if you have the 2019 version, it's definitely worth owning this one as well. It's a great figure, and I think Predator figures are going to be very happy with them. Again, he is available as a timed exclusive at Walmart stores here in the U.S., and then he will become available everywhere else. So if you can't find him at Walmart, don't sweat it. You will have another opportunity once he goes up for sale at other retailers. Thank you again to NECA Toys for providing him for review. We greatly appreciate that. I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com. Please like and share this video as it tells YouTube to share it with more people. I would definitely appreciate that. Also check out the written portion and photo gallery of this review. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more coverage.